Hey everybody, let's talk customer experience for a moment, okay? What? Nothing for you! <laughs> customer service is the new marketing. Customer service is the new branding. I keep hearing things like this over and over again, but I actually don't believe them to be true. Have you ever been to an Ikea? Do you know what we're walking into? You know what? I like myself. I have good taste in drapes. I wish I'd died on Iwo Jima and never met you. Whoa. Transparency is actually the new marketing. Transparency is the new branding. And what do I mean by that? I mean, expectation setting. Look, Joanna. Yeah. People can get a cheeseburger anywhere, okay? They come to tchotchkes for the atmosphere and the attitude. Okay, that's what the flair is about. It's about fun. Yeah. Transparency is the new customer experience and customer success. And what do I mean by that? Well, I think it behooves all of us in our organizations to think about what we're giving up to be great at our core and leading with it. There is a reason why we all read reviews today and why even more counterintuitively, 82% of us go to the negative reviews first when we're buying a product that we haven't bought before that's of medium to high consideration, meaning it's worthy of an investment in time to evaluate and predict what our experience is going to be like. Let's think about one of the video examples, IKEA. IKEA is the number one furniture retailer in the world and the experience is awful, right? Now, what they've told the world is, listen, you're gonna go into the store yourself, try to find the, the things that you're looking for. There's not gonna be somebody to help you. You're gonna to have to take a picture of the little tag with your phone so you can figure out where in the warehouse you're going to have the opportunity to go find that product, pull it off of the shelves, probably weighs 100 pounds, put it onto a cart that doesn't have brakes, roll it into the parking lot, jam it into the back of your car Tetra style, and as you drive home with a souvenir injury or two, you think you've left all of that horror at the store. Well, turns out it's only just begun. You open the box at home, 150 parts and no words on the work instructions. But why does IKEA continue to flourish? Because they don't hide that fact. They tell the world, listen, we're not gonna be great at these things so we can be great at our core. And our core is modern Scandinavian design furniture that you didn't pay a lot for. You know, this place looks great. Oh, thanks, man. It's all uh, Ikea. Did the whole place for $47. Nice. When we look across B2B and B2C, we see organizations every single day that are proud of the things that they're giving up to be great at their core. We need to stop living in a world that we think we're all things to all people. Because when we set proper expectations from the get-go, meaning from the first conversations that we have potential customers, we are building a foundation of trust. And that when those expectations are met, your customers not only stay, but they buy more and they tell their friends, which is exactly what you're looking for. So your homework is to think about what as an organization are you giving up to be great at your core? Act like a customer and go out and do the research that a customer would do when all they hear is perfect speak from you. Where are they gonna go look and what are they gonna find? Curate that information across your organization and create messaging around it that embraces that imperfection, that 4-2 to 4-5, which happens to be when a website is acting as the salesperson, the ideal average review score for conversion. In other words, imperfection sells better than perfection. A 4-2 sells better than a 5. It's incumbent upon you and your organization to figure out what your 4-2 to 4-5 is. And when you lead with it, you build trust and you end up with customers for life. Again, I believe that transparency is the new customer experience. Set proper expectations and go for the long-term win. Thanks.